Welcome on back to the channel everybody. It is a beautiful spring morning here at the treehouse. I got the itch for an adventure and it is time for us to go on one. So let's hit it. Gotta let these angry chickens out while I'm catching y'all up on things. Come on girls. Come on girls, get it, get it, get it, get it. There you go. Got one missing here and I'm sure it is Carrot sitting in the nesting box. Yeah, old Carrot, she's gone broody on us. Broody ain't good. Look at her, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, you eating that stuff? Okay, so when a, when a chicken goes broody, that means she is in total egg laying mode. Hey, don't you be pecking at them eggs, gum. So it's actually kind of a problem. Um, she, she'll sit there all day, all day, all night, trying to hatch eggs that won't. This is my other issue right now, is that daggum duck, trying to mate with my chickens. Come here, eat that gum duck. Now listen, I've done told you, you can't be doing that, sir. Now listen, little buddy, these are not little ducks that you can just be having your way with, sir. Okay, these are chickens. It is springtime, y'all. Everything is mating. Fish are spawning. Ducks are spawning. Chickens are broody. It is a daggum reproductive time, and including me and Stephanie. We got a baby on the way. Coming this fall, this hunting season, and I have been on honeydew duty. Okay, I'll let you, let you go. Oh, and quick side note: if you guys are wondering what is going on, like where's my hair? Uh, no, I am not going through uh, any radiation. This is just what happened with the barber over a miscommunication, uh, and that's about it. But you can actually, see, you actually see my scar again, which is pretty nuts. Anyway, Stephanie is uh, not happy about that one. So if you guys have followed this channel for a while, you know that I like to do adventure style camping. And usually when I go to uh, a lake or um, somewhere that I haven't been before, I'm, I'm exploring, um, I like to camp. And I especially like to truck camp um, and I'll take my tent and stuff. And this is my setup right here. This is my truck, a Silverado 1500 uh, diesel wagon which um i had some issues with at first this is my second one but i gotta tell you i love this truck um i've got about twenty thousand miles on it now and it is uh it is a daggum freaking bass boat puller man it's so efficient 15 miles to the gallon consistently pulling this rig right here 24 miles to the gallon without it and it's just uh it's a little torque a torque daddy and i love it now this wagon i'm picking up today it is pretty heavy and this is going to be the heaviest thing I've pulled with the little dirty Mac so I'm interested to see how it's going to do um, hopefully I don't need to get like a bigger truck or something like that I think I think my little my little uh, my little baby's going to do it but we're going to see I'm going to tell you guys more about it as we get down the road because we've got a extremely long drive y'all ready for some treats I got to put y'all up before we go so y'all get your little bugs in and uh Let's uh, let's lock back in the cage and let's let's hit the road, okay? And don't be stepping on my beautiful fresh grass that I've been working on this spring as well. Aberdeen, Mississippi. That's where we're going, y'all. It's about a nine-hour drive. It's gonna have a shorter drive on the way back because I'm gonna be plopping that thing on Lake Fork. LFD actually has a friend that that lives on the lake and uh, he's invited me to, to park it over there. And so I'm gonna use that as a home base to fish on Fork and then maybe even go to some other lakes just depending on uh, how the fishing is. Back in the truck again. Just had me a little breakfast over here at the Butterbean Cafe, Tupelo, Mississippi, y'all. It's about 7.30 a.m. right now, so it's going to be about a 30-minute drive to get over there to where this camper is. And so looking at the weather, um, we're going to get into some weather this afternoon. I am praying, dear Lord, please don't let it hail. Don't let it hail on the, the new camper. Here we go, baby. Here we go. 
We are finally here. There you go. There's a lot of RVs out there, but I don't see ours yet. right now is how's my truck gonna pull this thing I think it's gonna pull it good and it's got electronic brakes as well so just had to set my electronic brake gain I don't have to do that on my boat the boat is not electronic so right now just pulling pulling it you know low speeds everything feels good to go so let's get on the highway I got 24 miles to the gallon 23.9 on the way over here without the trailer we'll see what that is when we get over to four All right, this thing feels so good it's definitely different than towing uh, a regular you know ball hitch style trailer it just when you go over bumps it feels a lot smoother and it has independent suspension in suspension in the back so uh, everything just feels really smooth you feel the weight but you don't feel like you've got something big and clunky back there, like banging around. Uh, it feels very smooth, so that's a really cool aspect of it. The top collapses down so you don't get as much wind drag, but you definitely have a lot of air going up under the bottom, catching things, so you're gonna have some wind resistance there, but you know, with that much clearance, that's, that's the price you pay. Deal picking up the camper on the first day, just getting into a flash flood warning situation. But we haven't encountered any hail yet, thank goodness. And I'm kind of watching the radar. I don't, I don't think we have any tornado breakouts or anything, but uh, it's going to be doing this for a long time. I think all night. We're looking at 14.5 mpgs, and we are in Texas right now, so we only have about an hour and a half left on our journey. And uh, 14 and a half, I mean, I, I, I get 15 with the boat, and with this being 5,000 pounds, I am impressed. Ooh, this is not good. Yep, somebody, uh, somebody had a little boo-boo there. It's gonna be a, yeah. There's people driving without their lights and without their flashers on. So, the camera's such low light, it won't even focus right now. We're in the dark, apologize. We're getting there though. The rain has cleared up and I just stopped at uh, Brookshire's over in Equipment, Texas. And I already posted this on my Instagram, but I just want to say thank you to all the fishing freaks. When I go out and I see you guys at boat ramps and you know, just now like in the grocery store um, and just the energy, I, thank you guys. Thank you, that just made my night feel so good. We're almost there. We got about five miles to go, and um, we're good. We got all our provisions. The birds are singing. It is time to actually give a tour of this thing. The rain is gone. I'm at a buddy's place right now. Luckily, he had an awning that I could get under last night because of the hail and stuff, but now we're gonna take it down to the lake. Alright y'all, now I feel like I can finally properly introduce you 
to the Opus OP15, uh, my new off-grid adventure vehicle. So uh, we got it parked down here by the lake. Um, my dad's buddy's gracious enough to let me park it down here, and this is going to be base camp for us uh, while we're going fishing this week. Can't think of a better sight. Just looking at the lake, oh my gosh. I still have a ton to learn on this thing, but now that I've had a little time to tinker with it and I've gotten a rundown at the dealership, I can explain things a little better for you. So let's get in here. So the way that these come, y'all, it is rigged, ready to go. Like you really don't need to add anything. The only thing that I'll probably end up getting is uh, like a couple of jerry cans, like one for diesel, one for gas. Um, I probably will need to take a generator and I'll show you why here in just a second. Let's just look up under here. First of all, mud tires, no skimping on tires and you get four of them. And look at that suspension gas tubes full-on independent suspension with 20 inches of clearance I mean just tons of room up under there these little bars with the, the blue spots on them right here these are used to um, stabilize the vehicle so once you park it in your spot this isn't completely level but once you get your your deal level um, you put these down and this is going to stabilize everything you do have AC power on the outside so you can run uh, there's actually a TV uh, there's a TV inside of the cab it'll mount right here so if you want to do a little tailgating you can do that and there's your um, your cable and your audio ports right there and a lot of the stuff on this side is really for food prep kitchen uh, that appears to be locked this is how many keys come with it that's just for this I'm not fully understanding here, but uh, a lot of the, uh, everything on the outside seems to lock up so you can keep this thing really secure. Give me just a second here, I'm gonna find prisoner number 114. Okay, winner, got it. Took me a long time just to do that. So that's just a prep table for your kitchen right here. You have an accessory storage box. So right now I just have, like there's, everything comes with this, by the way. 30 amp power cable, I've got a potable water hose. I've got a, uh, a 120 connector uh, adapter. Um, comes with chocks. And there's other tools in here for other accessories of the vehicle, like the awning, which is right above us. The kitchen is one of the main reasons people get the opus uh, it's just a really industrial grade this slides out and you have got an entire propane stove kitchen folds out really easy it'll support its weight on its own but there's a brace that comes with it but I mean just the just the engineering to get this heavy four burner out here uh, and be this stable, rock solid, I'm just, I'm impressed. You know, that's for all your silverware and stuff like that. You've got a kitchen, drying rack, this raises up. You've got a sink, and that sink water will uh, actually just drain down. So I need to get a bucket for that. You just have drawers for accessories, you know. Put your knives, put your whatever in here. That's how you access the other part of the kitchen. You even have a light. So you do a little... Do a little chop chop, prep prep, Psst. you know what I'm saying? Outdoor living. That's locked in. And the propane hookup for this is right here. So you just gotta plug that in, turn it on, and I'll show you where the propane is. Comes with the two tanks already, full. Just impressive, y'all. And there's a regulator right here, and you've got these, these two hoses connected. Um, you just turn these on and you can flip this. So just a couple more things on this side. In here, I probably already showed you guys this, but this is the Dometic. So the Dometic pulls out and I've got my food in here right now. So you guys can see. I've got a little extra storage on, on this end. And I can maybe put my Jackery unit and run these off the Jackery if I want to. Save a little battery. So, got the groceries in there, got a freezer and refrigerator side, or you could do both on either one. Just whatever you need to do. 
I love the Dometics. It is um, it's just a really quiet, I mean, it's on right now. You can't even hear it. In the summertime, or anytime it gets warm, since this is putting out heat, sucking heat out, just turn that fan on, and that will suck the heat out. Right there in that vent. By the way, guys, Opus is not a sponsor of mine or anything. I just had a family friend tell me about it, and then another buddy of mine was like, dude, those things are amazing. And uh, he said he was telling me they're hard to get, and they are. It took me five months. So another thing that makes this thing pretty unique, we open up this side, and this is the, the Truma Combi system. This is a water and air heating unit. So it does take some propane, but it also takes a uh, battery. So it pulls amps off the battery, and I'm, I'm sure it has a little spark in there. I, to be honest with you, I don't know how this thing works. I'm not going to tell it. I'm not going to try to explain how it works. I just know that it is a really efficient, quiet system. I can't even hear it when it's on. As far as potable water goes, this thing holds about 60 gallons and split up into two tanks. And they were actually about half full on the way over here, which adds quite a bit of weight. So I'm, I'm still really impressed with, uh, with the efficiency of towing this, like the way my truck pulled it, pretty incredible. So this thing's over 5,000 pounds, um, felt really good. This is your um, your black water disposal, that's your poopies. You come out of there, that right there. You do have a 30 amp, so if you wanna hook up to um, shore power with a 30 amp, you could run, you do have to have the shore power hooked up to run the AC, the AC pulls too much power. There's one of the tanks right there. Right now I've got the top extended, so let's get on the inside. Let me show you some of the other features. Okay, shoe, shoes off. Still a clean vehicle. So we have our, um, our power right here. A lot of our lights and stuff like that. So the lights are right here. I'll turn on this light for now. But one of the really nice things about the, uh, the Opus, all the Opus campers, is they have tons of windows. It's dark in here, so I'm gonna open these up for you guys since we got a nice day. So you got three windows over there. There's one, two, three, and a big one on the back. Four windows over there, so you can let in a lot of light, a lot of fresh air, and just make it as tent-like as possible. You can feel like you're in a tent. The other thing I really like about it is the windows. The windows are uh, European style windows and it's just really smart how they did this. So you pull these out, this will click like that and that's open but if you got a bug problem, attach it right there and then pull it down and then you got a bug screen. Let that go and you're back in action. All the windows do that. So this window does that, that window does that. There's a bunch of little tiny small windows. You get these little um, these little reading lights. If you want to turn on some light, read your favorite book in the dark, maybe a scary story. So if I was just gonna kind of pull in quick to camp, uh, like I did last night, I'm just gonna sleep in there. And honestly, me and Stephanie could sleep in there. We've we've slept on a cot up in Colorado that is um, not as wide as that. The top bunk that's gonna be for like you know. Somebody like Peric size or uh, you know a kid or multiple kids. Storage, storage, storage. Just everywhere. Tons of drawers. They lock in really good too. That way, when you're going off road, you don't have to worry about your stuff getting tossed around. Shower. It's a wet shower, so you got a turlet, um, and you got a shower, so you can uh, just take a little quick shower. Clean the toilet at the same time if you want to. Little sink inside of there as well. Just basic. Step down here so you guys can see the uh, the vents for the uh, Truma Combi. So the hot air comes out right here. It actually pushes out quite a bit. So the gas has to be turned on for that to work. Your AC unit is up on the ceiling. And like I said, you do have to be plugged into shore power in order for that to work. But that's your AC unit. So your control panels are right here. So this is kind of like the main bank. This shows you <clears throat> everything that's going on and you can shut things 
on and off. So uh, this is the power for the fridge. You have your lights. So I want to shut those off. I have the water pump turned off right now just to save power. But you just turn that on and uh, within a few seconds you've got, um, you've got power behind your water. And right now it's showing the battery, the whole system. It's a three bank system just like the boat, like a boat, like a trolling motor would be. Um, 88, so 88%. That's how many um, amps, I believe, that we're pulling right now, um, 0.6. So that's with the fridge and with the lights on. And this right here, I'm assuming controls the solar panel. That's what it looks like. Uh, it does look like there is power going in. So it says 12.8 volts. Um, I think this is automatic. I, I don't really know, guys. It looks like it's working right now. I don't even know what the switch does. Don't even know. Probably should uh, look that up. This is your radio system. Controls the speakers. You can hear it on right now if you want to hook your phone up to it. Or Bluetooth. You want to tailgate, turn that on. You've got outdoor speakers. And you can uh, get your TV right here. You know, eat your hot dogs. Root for your favorite team. Enjoy the great outdoors with football. Right here is the you know dining room table, essentially work table, whatever you want it to do. There's storage underneath these seats right here. Uh, this folds around, it moves, it articulates, so you can position it however you want. And uh, if you want to sit down in here, eat a good meal, you can do that. What I'm probably going to do, I'm just going to bring my camp chairs, probably store the camp chairs under here and eat outside by the fire. I think that's probably the way to do it. There's your TV over there. It comes with a DVD player installed, ready to go. No extra charge. So at this point, I'm pretty much ready to get it set up and camp. Pull the kitchen out, do the awning. Um, I can disconnect it from the truck here, put the parking brake on, really cool feature. It's even got a level right there on the tongue so you can see if you're level or not. What else? Oh, these tubes. This tube right here, I've really thought of everything. Unscrew this, and you have your hoses for doing your black water and stuff like that. So there's an entire hose that fits in there, and pull that out. The only thing really left to do now is to pull out that king area. I really don't even need it. I don't even need it to sleep in. Uh, but I might pull that out just to just to play with it, and then uh, get this get this thing chalked, leveled. And we're ready to go. So my dad is on his way over here right now. We're going to go fishing today. Can't wait to get his reaction on this. He has not seen it yet. Uh, he's known for many months that I'm getting it. And we're going to be doing a lot of family adventures in the future with it. So I know he's excited about it too. So I'm going to get his reaction. You liking it? Yeah. And the bald eagle flies. LFD coming in hot with the silver bullets. It's fishing time. You're gonna have to hire me to pull your boat. You know that, right? That might be a good retirement plan. Yep. I like that deal. God, look at that thing. It's crazy. Hey, man. Yeah, it's adventure, adventures await. Oh my gosh, look how crazy that thing looks. Already got the tires dirty. Already got the tires a little tested. Drove through rain. Wow. Yeah, this actually comes down and then the king size bed folds out back here. So I haven't even put that out yet, but a lot of doodads, a lot of gadgets. I didn't know it went up like that. That's cool. There's gonna be some fish fried on you know this it. thing. You Woo! know it. We're gonna keep a skillet ready on demand with some grease. Golden yes, Krispies. Golden Krispies. Coming out of the adventure vehicle. Look at the engineering on that. It's all ready to go, man. It's pretty cool. I guess the Elite Series is out here. That is just a place I would not go full speed, but you know, when you're in a tournament, you gotta get her done. Colorado trips, they're gonna be fun times. Look at the TV! Yeah, we got a TV. Wow. 
Good to go, man. <laughs> that is, this is so cool. So, Deer Camp is now Deer Luxury Camp. <laughs> huh? Yeah, this is the new camp. This is like the new home, basically. We're filming a lot of videos out of here, for sure. I think LFD is thinking about future trips going up north, catching brown fish, catching trout up in the mountains. It's hard not to think about that when uh, when you're sitting in front of this thing. So one last thing we're gonna do here, guys, we're gonna pull this pull this out. It's kind of a two man job. You know, this is sort of a family camping rig, but you can do it by yourself. It just takes some some practice. I've already been shown how to do it, but I haven't done it on my own. So I got Dad here. We're gonna we're gonna open up the back, and uh, I'll show you guys the the bed on the inside once once uh, everything's out. But we should get an extra like five feet onto the trailer just by folding this down. And then push this. It's all hydraulic, so. Oh, okay, it's not heavy. Press the key button, there you go. Pull up on it. So pull this out, and that should fit in that little corner there. This is gonna pull down. It's kinda of heavy, so. Should fit in a little groove there. It is. Yeah. Now this, grab this this handle right here and pull it up. And it is done. So now this bed will fold out, and then you got a king size bed in here, guys. So it's all uh, it's all packaged up right now, so I'm not gonna get it out. But you unfold that, and then that is your. I mean, that is huge, huge sleeping space. So I would say one, two, three, four, five, six people if you really wanted to. But it's gonna sleep a family of four very comfortably, maybe even five. Under this is all of your inverters and you know power sources batteries stuff like that so you can get in there and work on it if you need to there's your batteries those are marine deep cycle batteries all right y'all that is the end of this adventure the opus op15 um, it is the uh, the new adventure wagon to attach to the adventure wagon we're gonna be having some fun times out of this thing doing family camping, doing fishing, hunting trips, and um, man, just enjoying the great outdoors with a little, little bit of glamping, just a little bit. And now we're gonna turn our attention to the great and powerful Lake Fork. So thank you guys for tuning in today. If you want to see more outdoor action and many videos to come this year and this thing, uh, subscribe right here to the channel gonna hit a million this year. I'm excited for it. Smash that like button. Leave me something positive and I'll see you 